Welcome back everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter here in what was the workshop. Moved the workbench today and the one shelf unit where I kept all my hand tools and finishes and oils and stuff like that. And uh, so I thought I'd show you some of what is not going over to the workshop as of right now. This table full of stuff. And uh, I'm probably going to keep one or two of the braces. Who knows, I may keep them all if nobody buys them. My coffin smoother that I had, which is 140, 150 years old, uh, the ma one made in London, that's a beauty. My HNT Gordon tools are not going over. They're brand new, never used. It was part of the dream, but uh, it's time to move on. Uh, probably hang on to that adjustable bit uh, for those times where you have a hole that doesn't match the drill bit set. And uh, that little square set, probably hang on to the, the, the Stanley 49 gauge and the 42 saw set. Always use them. But there's all sorts of pieces, parts. I've got dozens of uh, bits for the Yankees. I've got a little Yankee. I've got a monstrous Yankee. I've got other ones. Um, <coughs> these blade sets are honed and ready to go. I tuned, tuned them up. And um, they may not be perfectly honed, but they're tuned up. And uh, they would make some great planes. This one is totally reground. The uh, going to part with my compass plane and my uh, dado plane that I showed on the video the other day. Going to part with that. All of these molding planes have been cleaned at least once, some twice, some are tuned up and work, some need a little bit of uh, sharpening and tuning. And I've got some uh, sharpening stones and uh, carpenter's aprons, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Shop news, wood shop news. Uh, I used to have a subscription to the Woodshop News, and these are from 1992. And uh, spare hammer handles, Allen keys. I got more Allen keys than I have places to use them. And then some uh, some rosewood. This is a smaller rosewood knob. I. I won't throw these away. This is rosewood. Um, but I don't need them. So I, if somebody needs them, let me know. And if you're interested in buying any of this, send me a private message. If you can't figure out how to send me a message, then leave a comment that you'd like to talk to me. I'm working on restoring two Stanley planes right now. This one. It's about 1930s, and it, do, it does not have the uh, screw and adjuster for on the body, which is kind of neat. I like that. And that's a Type 16. They're both number sixes, and uh, none of these parts have been restored yet. But I did do the knob and tote. The first one was on the older plane and it was painted black. Well, there was only about 20% of the black left, so I scraped that off, sanded it, washed off any dirt and grime, and took some solvents to it, and cleaned it up really well, gave it a light sanding, and then I put a couple coats of shellac on it, and then sanded it back. After that, I used two different colored dyes to get that rosewood look. And you can compare that one to that set, which is actually rosewood. Okay. This one had a break in it in the middle of the handle. And it was kind of an odd break. It, uh, you can still see a hint of part of the repair. You see that little line there? It kind of went, it went across, but then it went in and then went up and over. So that's fixed. 
I gotta buff them down. They're a little too shiny. But that's got several coats of lacquer on it. And with some paste wax and steel wool. And then uh, the bodies of the planes are over in the machine shop. They're getting reground flat, so they will be flat. And um, one, not this one, this one was in perfect shape. But this one the is the one that had the broken tote and it also had um, hairline cracks on either side of the mouth opening behind, just under where the frog was. So those got brazed and, and flattened and it's getting sandblasted and then I'll repaint. This is some, uh, some saw handles that I picked up at the flea market. I absolutely fell in love with this one. This is a nice one. And uh, the fellow was, uh, he had a whole big box full of them and he basically burns them for firewood. They're apple. I think there might be some in here that are beech. But uh, need to find a saw maker to make me a couple of small, short uh, panel saws for at the bench in the new workshop because uh, I don't need something 24, 26 inches long. I need something more like 18 or 20 inches. So that's about it for now. If you see anything here that you're interested in, let me know. I'm going to go over and do another quick video showing the, uh, uh, the temporary location for the workbench. And that's in another room. This room is filled with wood. And this building was supposed to at one time be my new furniture shop. But uh, after some surgeries and whatnot, uh, that's just not going to happen. And then I thought, how about a school? And, well, that idea got shot down by the insurance agents and OSHA and uh, all the state laws and this, that, and the other thing. So that's when I decided to start doing the YouTube videos and share what I know and just move on. So head out to your shop. I'd say go make some shavings, but I didn't make any today. And uh, maybe you want to go get organized, you know. Uh, part of what I think I'm going to do over in the new shop is I'm going to make a lot of little boxes. And chisels will go in a box, carving tools will go in a box, and uh, the molding planes will go in a box. This way everything has its place, and I can fit more in a smaller place. So head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Walter out.